I was doing some research about my man crush Monday the other day, Toka McVarro, and I came across Kada River, which is his movie. Though this movie isn't exactly new, it got good reviews and several nominations, hence my interest in it. Hello and welcome to my Nollywood Diary. My name is Janelle. Kada River is based on true events that took place in northern Nigeria on 21st February, year 2000. The movie is based on the filmmaker McVarro's perspective. It's a story about his friend and a girl he loves. The movie was actually filmed in the ex exact area, Kangoro village, Kafanchan in Kaduna state, Nigeria, where the crisis actually took place 20 years ago. Mm -hmm, yeah. Plus, McBarrow wanted to capture it as it happened and also he wanted the cast and crew to feel the vibe and understand the weight and seriousness of the story. The village was devoid of a soul during shooting. Kada River is a sad love story between Jerome and Nadia, both from two different warring communities. They had to hide their relationship from their parents. Meanwhile, Heretta, a lady from Jerome's village and the children's storyteller, was deeply in love with Jerome, but he paid no attention to her in spite of his brother's prudence and advice. Amidst the war and deaths, they found solace in their love and even dared to take a bold step. Hmm. Their defiance cost them a lot, and one of them did not leave to tell the tale. The other was saved by the first recitation. For a movie with a village setting, I would prefer if the major characters had native names, you know, you know, made more sense and fit perfectly into the setting. Well, the movie is good. I cried a few times, Sha. <laughs> Seeing the way people were massacred in a senseless war and knowing that it actually happened, it was a really, really scary thing. And I couldn't help but notice that the English was also good. I rate this movie a four star. Don't forget to subscribe via mail and our socials to stay abreast on Nollywood movies and whatnot. Stay safe.